Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 10 of season 2 of the Saints Magic Power is Omnipotent. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. So yeah, I mean, now that they're done, what do you do now? Like, you just relax for the rest of the time, or you go somewhere else? Ah. Uh. And what about you two? Didn't you all get cleaned up first, though? <laughs> oh my god, no. My hi, it's day, you can't do that. <laughs> it's almost one o'clock in the afternoon, even though my clock, my time on my laptop is like an hour ahead because I haven't changed my clock, then I don't feel like it. <laughs> Just this gonna be a date episode for these two. No, say. <laughs> In a way. Bye, he looks so pretty. Yeah! <laughs> what does lilac mean? What does lilac mean in the language of flowers? In the language of flowers, purple lilac symbolize the first emotions of love. <laughs>
Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's here. Oh, look at the grapes and the apples. Oh my god. God, I know somebody like literally had to get some good buying details on the fruit. Ugh. Right sausages? Oh. Is that supposed to be cute? Ah, yes, yeah, salami! Mm. And it looks like cucumbers with it, too. That are pickles. They don't look very rigidy, so pickles have got some cucumbers. <laughs> mm hmm. Ever you think she wanted it more? With you, of course, duh. He wouldn't see it as work. See? <laughs> yeah. Look at him. Oh my god, I love him so much. <laughs> she honestly looks cute as kind of, it's more like a burgundy redhead ish color, but it, it's pretty. It looks good on her. They're just on a date. They're on like the cutest seat together. And I can't. Oh my god. This Trump season one day. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Mm-hmm. 
Definitely should take some home. Mm hmm <laughs> right, oh my Girl, yeah, you finally realize him. I mean, because seriously, guys, you've been in love with him for the longest time. You just didn't know. Which partner? <laughs> no! <laughs> But still, even the way he looks at her. Uh huh. We see. Duh, we all know! This season has to end with them getting engaged. That's the biggest thing. That looks good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's cute, though. See, even mom and dad know. He's <laughs> so cute when he blushes. Oh, my God. The one with the hot springs and everything.
Of course, he's gonna move over. Uh oh. He is. It's cute. Hmm. You can't say that. Like And then horse riding.
Mm hmm The fact that finally it took two whole seasons, almost over the season now, but for her to finally truly know what falling in love is like and being in love with him because of course she's been avoiding it ever since this show had started because like yeah I mean yeah she saved him he kind of fell in love first because when he woke up that was the first person who he saw so of course he was instantly in love with her and of course he wanted to know more about her and so within those 12 13 weeks that we did watch into season one he got to know so much about her and she got to learn more about him as well and then going into this season it was continuing that story plus everything else and now that she's done as the saint it, it is really sad truly I, I really would have thought that they would have had more for her to do there honestly could be more for her to do in the um I'm guessing the light novels for this series and now it's gonna make me think like probably when I'm done with this season to go ahead and just pick up the series and continue where it leaves off um even though I want season three. I want season three like so freaking much. So I mean, you know, we might get that like confirmation in the next couple of weeks and such. But seeing her acknowledging the fact that she's falling in love with him. And remember, this was a hard, she's still a hardworking woman. She's been a hardworking woman since day one. Um, I hope that she still is able to make time. They're, they're, destined to be together and that they'll be always there for each other and they'll make time for each other and ish. I can't. Oh, look at her! <laughs> Probably as your future daughter-in-law. For now, yeah. But seriously, this was a sweet episode just to see them, number one, go on a date. Because, like, I mean, they technically looking at this whole season in a nutshell, they went on one other date. And that was, like, I think episode, a little bit of episode one and such. And so to see these two go on another date and just really more around the town that he's from and born in and such is really sweet. I love the fact that also the lady was, like, Oh, you found a partner. And you're like, oh, no, 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 no. It's not like that. It's not like that. Like, yes, we do look like a couple, but we're not really a couple and such. But at the same time, like, just the way that they were looking at each other and they're just thinking to themselves, like, you know, hey, being married to her or being married to him or being with him wouldn't be so bad. And such and, and just the fact is even with the looks that they're giving each other and even with the fact of the the language of flowers with the lilac and everything emotions of love and such like seriously the the bar is set high for these two we're just waiting for everything to you know initially happen so i'm guessing with the last like how many other episodes do we have left before we're done with this um let's see If this would load fast, it never loads fast. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we got two more weeks left um, with the show. Now, um, it could end with them possibly getting engaged, especially with the two episodes that we do have left. Um, but, and I really want that. 
I don't want them to save that for a potential season three. I would love it for this show to end season two with them possibly getting either the proposal, starting the engagement, and then whatever season three has to offer, if it does get a season three, um, pretty much is everything. I think the company also knows that, like, yes, this is a very much fan favorite show. This is their, like, um... <laughs> their golden girl in probably anything else that they possibly done like they know how much people really care for this show a lot because this was the underrated show of when season one was airing it's continuing that but it's just you know it, it's for people who have already potentially already watched season one and we're continuing it so yeah I would love to still see a third season of this especially just to see the story of these two unfold and seeing what else is next for them and stuff. Because however it ends, it's going to end on an air of mystery and such. I don't think they're going to cliffhanger us in the next two weeks. Um, I think it's just going to be ending in a way where it's like, okay, like, hey, be, be satisfied with this now. But, you know, maybe something is gonna happen and such that you're possibly going to get a third season but yeah I mean the date was very interesting I love the fact that we got to see Hawk's hometown once again and such I I do hope that you know when they when his parents do come for social season baby has a ring on her finger or something to accentuate that oh hey she's engaged to Al and such like yes even though I love uh, all three sons like yes because they all fine and ish but there's only one. <laughs> one that she has her hearts for and is freaking out. So hopefully, praying it happens. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 10 of season 2 of the Saints, Ma <laughs> the Saints Magic Power is Omnipotent. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday. Nope. Not even Wednesday, next Tuesday, even though it's going to kind of be a little busy for me because, of course, we are getting very closer closer to Christmas. Um, these next two weeks are going to be, what I like to say, hell on earth for me because <laughs> Christmas. Um, but I'm going to at least, I wanted to do this last night, but I was too sleepy and stuff and I fell asleep. Um, so the goal is for me for specifically these last two episodes is to get them out on the days that they air. If not, of course, we'll do it like with we're currently doing now at Pretty Derby. But either you will see me next Tuesday or Wednesday for episode 11. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.